Hello everyone, and welcome to Proxima's Ani What Ifs. What Ifs, so we are back with an interesting movie on what if Naruto was Emperor of WWE. But before we start, I just want to remind you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoy my content. Let's start the story. WWE Raw January 2012 Chicago, Illinois. 1. 2. 3. The bell rang as the match was declared over. The 21-year-old 6-foot-1 Naruto Namikaze rolled out the ring as his opponent R-Truth picked up the win against him. He sat up against the barricade and looked depressed. This was his 15th loss in a row. Naruto was born in a small town in Japan called Kanahagakure. He got into wrestling when his father introduced it to him by taking him to a live WWE event. Since then it has changed his life. As a child most would grow out of it, but Naruto was no exception, he knew what he wanted to do exactly when he grew up. When he had turned 13 he had told his parents that he wanted to get into wrestling. Now luckily both his parents were former wrestlers themselves as they had traveled everywhere around the world and were popular in Japan, the United Kingdom Canada, Mexico, and even some parts of the US that saw them. After four years of training under them he had gone to the Indies when he had turned 17 wrestling in various different indie shows for a year. Then at 18 he went international making a name for himself. At 20 he was brought over to WWE thanks to talent scout Jim Ross. He practiced at the Performance Center for six months until he was brought to the main roster rather quickly by the chairman of WWE. To be honest he didn't feel like he was ready yet, but of course he couldn't say that to the boss and owner of WWE. But what really made him uncertain was the gimmick that creative control had for him. It looked like an outfit that made him look like a future like rocker high flyer. He had won a few matches against a few jobbers until he wrestled his first real opponent The Miz. It was a big moment for him if he won, but unfortunately it didn't end well as he lost after being hit by a skull-crushing finale. Since that day his luck has changed for the worst losing to a number of names in WWE. What's worse was that the fans had started to hate him. Even when he is face and helps other face wrestlers he is still booed. No doubt WWE management was losing interest in him. Naruto looked up and saw R-Truth still celebrating his win. Frustration had built up within the young man and now. No more. Naruto quickly stood up and took off his right elbow pad before sliding back into the ring. As R-Truth tried to hype the crowd, the young man ran and delivered a swinging back elbow to the back of the skull, knocking the wrestler out as he dropped. Oh my god, what the hell? Jerry Lawler called out. This shocked the crowd, and most had popped for this while some booed. Naruto brushed back his short spiky blonde hair. He looked down at Truth who was barely regaining consciousness and tried to move. What are you doing Naruto? Jerry questioned. He ignored the ref who was telling him that was enough and to leave. He knelt down sitting R-Truth up. I think Naruto has snapped. Answered Michael Cole. Naruto began to deliver vicious right elbows across the jaw of R-Truth. This is disgusting, that's enough already he's knocked out. Lawler called out. The ref grabbed Naruto's arm to make him stop. The snapped wrestler dropped Truth before standing up and looking at the official who was telling him to get out here. Not done yet he grabbed the ref's face and threw him out of the ring. Naruto, now throws the referee out of the ring. What is wrong with this kid? Jerry questioned. I think the referee shouldn't get in Naruto's way for his own safety. Michael. He picks up Truth who was barely conscious as he was brought up to his feet. He proceeded to put him in a double underhook and lifted him up on his shoulder, where he then proceeded to do a spinning neckbreaker, slamming the wrestler down hard. Naruto proceeded to insult Truth as he talked trash and gave the middle finger. Other referees and officials came out stopping him, while some checked Truth and the referee. With his work done he got out of the ring and walked backwards looking at his work. He gave a smirk. That felt good. He proceeded to walk backstage where he ignored everyone who looked at him. He slammed his door open to his locker room and shut it. He sat on a chair and proceeded to unwrap his wrist tapes. A knock was heard from his door, but he ignored it. He didn't want to talk to anyone. That didn't stop the person however as he entered. Naruto not having it was about to tell the person off until he saw who it was. Jim Ross. He walked over to him. He didn't say anything for a minute until he put a hand on the young man's shoulder. Listen, things don't seem to be working out here. The young man said nothing and knew he was about to be let go. Recently Hunter had remade NXT, he thinks it's best to send you there to refresh you. Hunter Aka Triple H had become cool, thus giving him some power. If there was anyone that he knew wouldn't screw him over, it was that man. He looked at the talent relation head I need to find my true self. I need to work around the world and find it. One year later. Big E had just won the NXT title from Seth Rollins, who was being helped to the back by his shield brothers Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Big E held the NXT title high in the air, while Mr. Money and the bank winner Dolph Ziggler and Diva AJ Lee were by his side celebrating his win. Theme intro cut, Bring It Down Zenith of God. 
The crowd including the others in the ring, looked at the Tetantron screen. A typewriter was shown typing the words. The real elite. The video scenario switched showing tall buildings like castles with clouds covering the sky and lightning. A huge flag black banner was shown being blown as it hung on top of the biggest castle. The design of it had an old Englishy with a crown on top of it and with the words Millennium Empire. Then switched to the words. The Emperor Naruto Uzumaki. The wrestler walked out as the fans cheered seeing him. He had on black shirt and jeans with white shoes and a gold chain. His blonde golden hair was no longer short but now a little longer down, tail of the gutsy ninja. Oh my William Regal shocked. Naruto smirked at Big E. It's Naruto Uzumaki. Jim Ross. The leader of the Millennium Empire, Naruto Uzumaki is here William Regal informed. Fans were shown cheering loudly, raising their hands up in excitement. This crowd has just exploded like never before and are rejoicing for the return of this talented young man. Jim Ross. During the past year Naruto didn't re-sign with WWE. Allowing him the chance to wrestle more around the world but this time with his new different attitude. In such a short time his popularity had skyrocketed like never before. He became more noticeable by other known promotions such as Ro, AAA, and JPW, CMLL. Winning numerous titles from everywhere he went. He went on to create a dominant faction that had started to become noticeable to the wrestling world. The Millennium Empire. The group consists of four people. Naruto himself is the leader, Zilla Fadu, son of the late Yamaga, also the powerhouse. Lexus King son of the late Brian Pillman and Antonio Guerrero son of the late Eddie Guerrero, the tag teams. All four men carry the legacy in their blood and we're not gonna be disrespected by anyone any longer. Naruto with his cocky fox Merc had signaled with his finger for the two men to turn around. Both men turned around and got jumped by three men. One of the men went after Big E and two attacked Olf Ziggler. Wait a minute. That's Zilla Fadu. Regal called. Alongside Lexa son of the late Brian Pillman and Antonio Guerrero son of the late Eddie Guerrero. Jim Ross. AJ was in the corner horrified at the situation. Naruto soon slid into the ring and joined the beatdown on Big E. The Millennium Empire all here on NXT. William. The fans were cheering non-stop. Holy shit. 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 The two tag teams grabbed Dolph getting up halfway to his feet. King grabbed him and a double underhook and picked him up where Antonio stepped in front as Dolph was placed on his shoulder and followed it with a sit-down spinebuster on Mr. Money in the Bank. King and Antonio have just absolutely dismantled Mr. Money in the Bank. Jim Ross. Naruto told Zilla to drag the new NXT champion to the middle of the ring. Now it seems the same is gonna happen to Mr. Langston William. The salmon had dragged the muscled wrestler to the square middle while Lexus and Antonio sat up the champion and held his arms. Naruto took out from his pocket a wide elbow pad which got a pop from the crowd as he slipped it on his right arm onto his elbow. I know what's coming next and it's not gonna be pretty Jim Ross. Naruto ran and delivered a swinging back arm elbow strike to the back of the skull, knocking the champion out. Hidden kunai as he calls it. Jim Ross. Naruto got back to his feet and shouted grabbing the rope shaking them as adrenaline pumped his body. He threw both his hands up making a horn sign with the index fingers crossing one another along with their thumbs touching the other. The other three members followed the leader's example and did the hand gesture. I can see why it's called Hidden Kunai. I've never seen such a dominant debut impact here on NXT. The Millennium Empire has surely laid their mark here and has let their actions speak louder. William. Naruto had a satisfaction expression and looked at the crowd with his now trademark fox smirk. What a shocker, Yuzumaki in NXT, what's next? Jim Ross asked. NXT, January 31, 2013, Winter Park, Florida. A few weeks went by since the return of Naruto and the debut of the Millennium Empire on NXT. Everyone was on high alert, especially the tag team division as a couple weeks ago a tag team tournament was announced to decide who would be the very first NXT tag team champions. Along this would be another tournament but for single competitors for a new championship belt. The North American Championship. King and Antonio were in the finals after beating the Wyatt family in the semi. The last opponents were the team of Adrian Neville and Bo Dallas, who replaced the other team members as he was injured. Zilla was bulldozing through the whole competition and was in the finals against Xavier Woods. Naruto was right now in his faction locker room getting ready while watching the TV, as the tag team finals started a few minutes ago, and so far King and Antonio were doing good, hopefully they can keep it up. He was dressed in a pair of black wrestling tights. The right leg had a design of a snarling demon fox head with orange fur and red eyes. The left side has his factions crowned a logo and white boots. He slipped on his wide elbow pad and wrapped his wrists with white tape. In tonight's main event he will be facing Langston for the NXT Championship. 
although it was advised against the champion as he was not 100% medically cleared from a concussion he suffered from the hidden kunai, but he didn't care and demanded the match. This was it. His chance of a comeback. He's worked hard over the past year studying, learning and training under the best, he cannot blow this. And we have the very first tag team champions. Here are your winners and the first NXT tag team champions Lexus King and Antonio Guerrero. Naruto looked at the television and saw King and Antonio holding their arms up. Triple H with the NXT tag team walked in the ring and presented the title to the duo who took them and shook his hand while giving a pound hug. The veteran raised the duo's hand as they held their gold championship belts. They slipped it around their waist and looked at the crowd giving their signature hand crown. Naruto smirked and nodded as he predicted. Excuse me Naruto. The young man turned and saw interviewer commentator Renee Young. He stood up from his chair. First of all congratulations tonight two members of your faction have become the first NXT tag team champions and your third member Zilla will be facing Xavier in the finals for the new North American championship, but you're going against Big E Langston for the NXT championship and after a couple weeks ago with a vicious attack you and the Millennium Empire laid upon him, what's your strategy? Dorito gave a little laugh and brushed Renee's chin, causing her to almost blush. Renee, have you ever heard of secrets? I'm sure you have some of your own. What I have planned for Langston, now that's a secret. However, what's not a secret is my desire to be NXT champion. Attacking him was just to send a message not just to him, but to the whole entire NXT roster. Once Zilla wins and becomes the first North American champion and I become the new NXT champion everyone will bow down to the Empire. Naruto threw up the crown signature. One. Two. Three. The crowd cheered. The bell rang and Zilla stood up as he just pinned Xavier Woods. Here's your winner and the first North American champion Zee Ilya. Zilla was soon presented the North American Championship by Triple H, the salmon had lots of emotions running through his head and took the title while shaking Triple H's hand. The salmon climbed up the turnbuckle and shouted as he raised the title. The salmon empire member kissed his index finger and pointed it up in the sky. Naruto along with King and Antonio gave a hug and congratulations to the salmon who just walked back. You did your dad proud, now you'll show everyone you'll be the most dangerous champion. He told him. Zilla nod. All right boys, let's go. Naruto smirked. Langston was in the ring and stared at the ramp waiting for his opponent. AJ Lee and Dolph were at ringside by his corner. Intro cut, bring it down Zenith of God. The crowd cheered. Naruto walked out as he wore a black king cloak-like jacket with gold design patterns with white fur on the collar, shoulders and cuffs. He looked behind and smirked as the rest of the faction came out. Throwing up his sign the crew did the same. He proceeded forward down the ramp with a cocky walk while the others followed. He slaps the metal step before continuing up and going into the ring. He proceeded to walk to a corner and stepped up the turnbuckle and proceeded to throw up the crown sign. Many fans had made the same hand gesture. Stepping down, Naruto turned around seeing Big E Langston staring a hole at him. He smirked as he took off his coat and proceeded to hand it over to Zilla. Both competitors were in the corner, Big E holding his title in his hand while Naruto on his side was leaning back. Bing. 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 The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the NXT Championship. Kendall Sky announced. Introducing the challenger. First from Tokyo, Japan weighing in at 261 pounds. The Emperor, Naruto Yuzumaki. He pointed his finger up high and looked at the crowd who cheered. And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. He is the NXT Champion, Big E Langston. Big E raised the title before handing it to the referee who proceeded to walk to the middle of the ring and raise it up to show the title on the line. The official showed Naruto the belt who looked at it and back at Langston. After handing the timekeeper the title the referee looked at both men as they were ready. He signaled the bell. Ding. The two men started to circle around one another. The title on the line, the champion versus the challenger, the returning now dubbed Naruto Uzumaki. If you're just joining us folks this is again for the NXT title. Tom Phillips. Naruto reached a hand up towards Langston who hesitated but slowly reached and locked up however the faction leader kicked the muscular wrestler in the knee, which hurt him as it was unexpected and was soon grabbed in a headlock. The trick from Naruto following it with a headlock. A big change from Naruto from the last time we saw him in WWE. Tom. Naruto tightened the head grip. You're right Philip, this is not the same Naruto from a year ago. Leaving WWE a year traveling everywhere around the world becoming international can change a person Byron added. Big E again pushed Naruto against the rope and then Irish whipped him to the other side of the rope, as Naruto came back he ducked under a clothesline from Langston. Dodging at the last second. Renee. Naruto hit the ropes coming back at full speed with a dropkick to the face of Langston, dropping him he quickly covered. 
Full speed dropkick from Naruto knocking Big E down with the cover. Phillips. The ref pinned only one before Big E kicked out. Naruto sat up Langston and grabbed a headlock. Referee only one and Naruto not letting Big E up. This a smart strategy to wear the champion down not letting room for him to breathe Rene. The referee was asking Big E if he wanted to give up, but the muscled wrestler refused. AJ Lee and Dolph encouraged their bodyguard to fight back. Speaking of strategy. Rene, any strategy Naruto has here for Big E Langston? Byron asked. Well he didn't say but he was very charming though, and secretive of his plan against Langston. Rene. Charming. Byron questioned. Shut up Byron Rene. Big E has started to stand up and hit Naruto in the gut to release the hold. Big E Langston now back on his feet breaking off from the hold. Tom. Big E grabbed Naruto and whipped him to the rope to which he followed and clotheslined him hard, taking him off his feet. Oh. What a clothesline that's gotta rattle Naruto. Byron. Naruto on the floor touched his jaw moving it making sure it still worked. He was brought up to his feet where he was then slammed against the corner and hit with shoulder thrust to the gut by the muscle champion. Naruto trapped in the corner as Big E ramming those huge triceps into the gut. Tom. Ref count 4. Big E stopped as he stepped far back. While Naruto tried to recover, the champion sprinted forward and rammed his shoulder into the gut once more, knocking the air out of the leader. Big E charging and once again, with a running shoulder thrust to the body. Byron. Naruto stepped out of the corner trying to catch his breath, but Big E grabbed him and body slammed him hard and covered. Big E with a mighty body slam with authority and now covered. Tom Phillips. 1. 2. Naruto kicked out. Naruto gets the shoulder at 2, this is what Big E needed to change the momentum and take control of this match. Byron. Naruto was picked up by Big E who then pressed him up in the air military position. And the power of Big E, this is what made him one of the most dangerous wrestlers on the NXT roster. Rene. Naruto just escaped and landed behind Langston. He spun around before delivering a hard elbow strike to the back of the skull, which made a loud impact. Boo the audience winced. Boo oh man, what a discus elbow to the back of the skull. Tom winced. Big E almost dropped but hung on to the rope for support. Remember Langston was not medically cleared from the concussion he suffered by Naruto and now suffering another shot to the back of head. Byron. Naruto grabbed Big E around the waist and picked up the muscle 200-pounder and lifted him backwards, dropping him once again on the back of the head while holding a bridge position pinning the champion. And once again Naruto dropped Big E with the snap German suplex oh man. Byron. Referee had counted. 1. 2. Big E kicked out. Big E just kicking out at 2 Tom. Naruto looked at the referee telling him to count faster and the official told him back he knows what he's doing. Naruto's gotta stay on Big E instead of arguing with the official. Rene. He stood back up on his feet while Big E was at the edge of the ring apron. Quickly he hit the ring ropes and came back connecting a baseball slide kick to the skull, knocking the champion outside the ring onto the floor. Baseball slide. Target ride onto the head of the champion. And Big E, it's not looking good for him. Byron. Naruto has been non-stop targeting the head of the champion. Guys I don't think Big E knows what's happening. Rene. Dolph and AJ Lee tried to encourage Big E to get back up. Naruto slid out the ring and picked up the muscled wrestler and threw him back in. As the referee checked on Big E Naruto was gonna step up the apron but stopped as Dolph stepped forward towards him but stopped when the Empire faction stood behind their leader. Things are heating up now, the Millennium Empire by their leader, making Dolph rethink his strategy. Tom. Just as Naruto resumed back up on the apron he saw a human train coming at him and didn't have time to prepare himself. Whoa 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 look at Big E Byron catching the attention. The challenger was speared through the second ropes onto the floor. The crowd cheered and some were shocked at this. Oh my god. Big E Langston takes Naruto out the apron with a spear through the second rope. Tom Phillips. The crowd cheered. NXT. 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 Naruto held his stomach and groaned in pain while Big E was just recovering as he got up to his feet. Olf and Ziggler cheered him on and encouraged him to keep going. Momentum has just drastically shifted to Big E's favor, can he continue it? We'll be back after the commercial break. Byron. The match was back as it showed Naruto being thrown across the ring. Welcome back to NXT, the main event of the match Naruto facing Big E Langston for the NXT Championship, and so far Big E has been in control. Tom. Naruto lifted himself in the corner where he was then hit by a body clothesline from Big E. Big E has been fired up since the commercial break leading Naruto in a trouble spot. Rene. The champion picked up the challenger and dragged him out of the corner, where he then proceeded to hit knee strikes to the damaged body of Naruto. 
Biggie is now taking a page out of Yuzumaki's playbook, targeting the damaged ribs just before commercial break. Take a look at these folks, this is where Biggie shifted the momentum. Byron. The replay was shown of Naruto getting speared off the apron onto the floor. It a fifth time by an E to the gut Big E had run to ropes and came back knocking Naruto down with another hard body clothesline. Naruto being sent to the floor by a hard knockdown. I think we're about to see the end. Tom. Big E took the straps off his shoulder and was fired up, but it stopped as he held his head and shook it. Big E Langston still feeling the effects from the elbow strike. And gentlemen remember Big E was not 100% medically cleared for this match, as he still could be suffering from the concussion Rene. Big E tried to shake the cobwebs off and walked to Naruto where he then picked him up on his shoulder. Big E setting Naruto up iron. Naruto was squirming around and actually started to elbow the face of Langston, who was forced to let go. Naruto with those elbows to the face forcing the champion. Tom. Jumping up on the muscle champion's shoulders, he performed a reverse hurricane rana flipping the champion on his head. Whoa. Byron. Reverse hurricane rana from the challenger. Tom. This is what Naruto needed. Rene. Naruto back on his feet saw Big E who was on his knees. Not wasting any time here and straight forward and held his arm back before releasing it and connecting an elbow strike to the jaw. It in kunai, the move that put Big E on the shelf for weeks. Byron. Naruto not finished yet he had taken off his elbow pad and sat Big E up before walking back and pointing at the champion. Oh no. Tom said. We saw what one hidden kunai could do but another with a bare elbow. Byron. Naruto ran, but it was a trap as Big E caught him up on his shoulders and he was on his feet. Big E was playing possum, trapping Naruto once again, now up on his shoulders. Rene. He hit the big ending and covered Naruto as the referee pinned. Big ending. That's gotta be it. Byron. One. Two. Th Naruto just got his shoulder up, and the crowd popped while some were shocked. Even an exhausted Big E was surprised as he couldn't believe it. What? Byron. Naruto somehow barely, barely got his shoulder up before the three count. Rene. Big E stood back to his feet and tried to pick up Naruto who was almost dead weight. The damage though has been done to Naruto. Big E needs to capitalize once more. Tom. The champion picked up the challenger and was about to set him up for another big ending. And that's what Big E is about to do, setting for another big ending. Byron. Naruto somehow manages to escape once more causing his opponent to turn around, but was hit by a jumping Enzajiri from the challenger dropping him to a knee. Boo. Naruto somehow escapes the champion's grip once again followed by an Enzajiri. Tom. Naruto grabbed Langston's head and lifted him up before dropping him with an Impaler DDT. Impaler DDT. Rene called out. Naruto rolled back to his feet, fired up and now called out to Big E to get up. Naruto begging Langston up, he may want to stay down. Byron. Naruto ran just as Big E was trying to stand up and struck with a hidden kunai once again but bare. Hidden kunai. Tom. Naruto managed to pick up the out cold champion and hooked him in an underhook before lifting him up on his shoulder, before twisting him around and slamming him. Rasengan. Could this do it? Byron. Naruto hooked up the leg as he pinned the champion, and the referee pinned him. One. Two. Three. The crowd cheered for this. Bring it down Zenith of God. And yes we have a new NXT champion. Byron. Naruto dropped the leg and raised his arm while rolling off the former champion. Here is your winner and new NXT champion, the Emperor Naruto Yuzumaki Kendall announced. The referee presented him the gold title to which he took and pressed it against his forehead and kissed it. The Millennium Empire came into the ring and clapped for their leader. I can't believe we have a new champion. Byron. This goes to show you Byron that anything can happen in the WWE. Rene. We have to give it to Big E Langston. Even though not a 100% he still came in this match and gave everything he got. Tom. Zilla with his North American Championship around his waist, had strapped the NXT title around his leader and gave him a pat on the chest. Big E was outside being attended by AJ Lee, her boyfriend Ziggler and a medical official. Naruto was handed a black shirt to which he slipped on with the front design having his faction's logo. The others wore the same shirt and they stood side by side with every title from NXT. Naruto walked over and asked for a microphone to which he was handed over. Walking back he stood in the middle of the ring with the rest of his members. He spoke you have all just seen and witnessed the might of the Millennium Empire. He took a moment to breathe. And I hope to every single wrestler on NXT, Raw and SmackDown, saw what the Empire could do because we are not gonna stop here, no no. We are just getting started. Naruto looked at his three members. And if anyone wants to try the Empire, they're welcome too. But in the end, just like every wrestler in the world that is fought against us will bow down. The crowd clapped for this and cheered. 
the Millennium Empire era starts now dropping the microphone, Naruto gestures up his crown signature along with the others. Theme song play. The Millennium Empire issued their statement to the WWE Universe and the NXT locker room. With all the gold, who can stop them? Tom. The bigger question is can they be stopped? Byron. Naruto with a fox grin looked on with his crew as the show closed. WWE Raw November 4, 2013 Greenville, South Carolina. The show starts off showing a long black limousine pulling into the building before stopping. Look at this, Jerry said. The man who was a chauffeur stepped out and went to open the passenger door. First stepping out was none other than the Emperor Naruto Uzumaki. He wore a pair of sunglasses, a very expensive three-piece suit with the jacket opened, showing a red dress vest and his NXT title. Small golden chains hanging out the pocket, golden rings, a platinum left bracelet and right diamond encrusted watch, black dress pants and shoes. The crowd loudly cheered when they saw him. But he was not alone. The rest of the other faction members came out each wearing very nice suits and some with expensive jewelry, also with their titles as well. Ha <laughs> look who's here. JBL said. The Millennium Empire, here on Raw. Michael Cole was surprised at this. Naruto and the others walked where they met Triple H alongside his wife Stephanie, who welcomed the group and shook his hand. Raw intro. The camera showing the pyro intro and the crowd cheering loudly as it deafened around the area, this was of course due to a certain group arriving. If you're just joining us now, welcome to Monday Night Raw folks, we are live from Greenville, South Carolina, we are sold out here in the wellness arena. I'm Michael Cole here, joined by my good friends and colleagues Jerry the King Lawler and JBL, and guys what we saw just before the opening. Tonight we may be in for more of a surprise. Hey you're right about that Michael, the Millennium Empire here on Raw, I mean what are they doing here? And why? Jerry. King of King theme. I think we're about to find out JBL. The crowd had booed as Triple H alongside his wife came out and started to walk towards the ring. Ladies and gentlemen please welcome the coup of WWE Triple H and Chief Brand Officer Stephanie McMahon. Triple H and his wife stepped inside the ring. With the microphone in hand he spoke as he stood in the middle. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. The crowd cheered but still booed at Triple H. Tonight I am very happy. Because over almost a year ago. I rebranded NXT. The crowd cheered at the brand name. I took a huge gamble to rebrand it, to make it even greater, to find the best wrestlers in the world and give them a chance to stand here in this very ring, pointing at that. He pointed at the WrestleMania 30 sign. Not long at the same time a year ago. A certain individual had left. He left to find that it factor. And the fact he came back and became the NXT champion showed me, he has it. But not just him but also others that came along with him, so allow me to introduce you all. To the rulers of NXT. The Millennium Empire. The intro cut Zenith of God. The crowd cheered as Naruto alongside the others came out. They stood side by side and looked at one another. They threw up the crown sign before coming down the ramp with Naruto in the front. The camera showed three fans doing the crown gesture and one holding a sign that said Emperor of NXT with a design of a fox with a crown. Naruto walked up the steps and along the apron before stepping through the ropes and then walked to a corner climbing up the turnbuckle where he took off his title around the waist and raised it up high getting a loud reaction. Hopping down he walked over to Triple H shaking his hand and Stephanie giving a hug. The couple proceeded to give the faction the ring and stepped out towards the back. Naruto with the microphone in his hand just looked at the crowd which were cheering and chanting. Empire. 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 Naruto spoke that's what I love to hear everywhere I go. Every place we go we are already known through you peasant. The crowd cheered as they weren't bothered by the insult. We have shown our dominance on NXT and as you can see. He indicated with his title on his shoulder and looked at his members who were padding there. We still hold the gold and as of this moment, we've held our titles for almost an entire year, making us the first longest reigning NXT champions, the fans clapped and cheered for this, and trust me, we're just getting started. For those on the main roster that don't know who we are. Allow me to reintroduce ourselves. Naruto walked over to Zilla who had his arms crossed. This is the Salmon Beast and North American champion Zilla Fadu. You all should know his father, the late great Yamaga. A feared wrestler that brought fear, destruction and pain to his opponent and now. It is passed down to a new generation. He then walked over to the tag teams. Lexus King. Son of the late Brian Pillman, Antonio Guerrero son of the late Eddie Guerrero, and your NXT tag team champions. The fans chanted. Eddie. 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 And finally there is. Me. The founder, the emperor, the longest reigning NXT champion. Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto declared loudly while holding up his title, getting cheers. Now. Let's get to the real deal. 
As I've said before, we've dominated most of every competition in NXT. And it so happens around the corner is the pay-per-view Survivor Series. Now usually the tradition always goes with Raw against SmackDown, but. With changes that can't happen. Proud booed at this. Until I gave Triple H a call. Naruto spoke once more. Using my champion advantage. I suggested an idea. A challenge of NXT's best against the main roster's best. The crowd cheered for this idea and chanted. NXT. 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 And of course, I don't need to say anything else since we're here, so you do the math. Naruto continued on. NXT has grown to become my empire since I came back winning the championship. Now it's time to expand it. The Millennium Empire will continue to conquer and grow stronger. We are the elite group who will show everyone why we are the most dominant and most dangerous group in wrestling history. The crowd cheered. Suddenly. Sierra. Hotel. India. Echo. Lima. Delta. Shield. Wait a minute Michael Cole. A Shield theme song blasted in the arena, causing the crowd to have mixed reactions, as this was a dream event man fans had been waiting for, and it looks like it's about to happen. The Shield Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins and Roman Reign had appeared in the balcony where the crowds were. This night is just getting better and better. JBL. You talk about the most dominant group in wrestling, well I think these three would like to say something about that. Jerry. The three men walk down the stairs through the crowd. When you think about it gentlemen these two groups have accomplished much since their debut, winning championship, taking down every competition in their way here Michael. Dean jumped over the barricade while wearing his United States Championship, Seth Rollins jumped over the barricade rolling forward and up on his feet, and Roman simply climbed over. There are times Michael that there can only be one alpha group, and the Empire wants to show that, but the Shield, like you said Jerry may have something to say to that. JBL. Naruto's expression was stoic as he remained relaxed while his team were relaxed too, but were prepared if anything starts off. The three group men got on the apron and into the ring. The theme ended and nothing was said between the group but the roar of the cheering crowd. Dean Ambrose, the lunatic member of the Shield, had a microphone and spoke. I'm sorry, but we couldn't help but listen to your little group speech. Naruto remained silent. You say you're the most dominant group in professional wrestling. Well I don't hate to be that guy, but that's where you got it all wrong pal. You see we've taken down every competition that stepped against us since day one. Against the best, John Cena, CM Punk, Ryback, Big Show, Kane, Orton, Shima and hell of a lot more have been crossed out the list by the Shield. Until you lost to a certain goat-faced wrestler. Naruto mocked. Ooh, ooh. The crowd surprised at the remark. The trio didn't like to be reminded of their very first loss. Especially the lunatic. Cute. He mocked. It doesn't change the fact, since our debut we've already knocked down multiple former world champions and have become the most feared group in this roster, there's a reason why the authorities hired us. Well you. Dean looked at Naruto directly. All you did was take your ball and go home when things didn't go your way. Ooh. -oo. Naruto chuckled at this and wasn't bothered by the jab. Then suddenly you come back with a bunch of wet behind the ear brats who would be nothing if it wasn't for their daddies. This comment made Lexus and Antonio take their sunglasses off not taking kind of the remark. Naruto chuckled and spoke. Stick and stones. Tell me though, when was the last time you all were talked about around the world? Or better yet how many times have you main evented? Of course nothing was said from them. Oh you haven't, that's okay boys that's okay, I mean to be honest, I do see someone in this little club who can be a main event. Naruto's eyes directed at the salmon member who gave no reaction. But of course, I'm getting off track. The point I'm trying to make is. If you really want to try the Empire, then we're happy to oblige but be warned, when you face us, prepare to bow down. Naruto stepped forward along with the others. The shield didn't back down and stepped towards them as well. The fans all cheering and gesturing pointing their fingers up. Yes. 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 Just when things were about to implode. Hold on. Hold on. The crowd booed as Triple H with a mick came back out quickly walking down the ring and getting in between the two groups. Now. As much as the crowd wants to see this happen. Triple H said, making the crowd cheer. This is not what's best for business. This statement annoyed the crowd and they booed. Which is why I am here to confirm for the first time ever. NXT will be facing the WWE at Survivor Series. The crowd cheered. For the opening. It will be the traditional Survivor Series 5 on 5 tag team elimination match. NXT's best versus the main roster's best. Yes I love it. JBL. For the second match. The United States champion Dean Ambrose will go one-on-one -on -one against NXT's Salmon Beast Zilla Fadu. 
Dean Ambrose gave a smirk, while Zilla nodded his head as this was no problem. The third match. The NXT Tag Team Champions Antonio Guerrero and Lexus King will be facing the Tag Team Champions of Goldust and Cody Rhodes. That's gonna be a match. Jerry Lawler. For the fourth match. An Empire member will be making his debut against the winner of the Intercontinental Championship match tonight between Big E Langston and Curtis Axel. Now of course, for the women's match. NXT's women's champion Alexa Bliss will be facing WWE's Divas champion AJ Lee. Burrito grinned when he heard this. Alexa was someone that he had met when he won his championship. Mini flashback. AE I like the aftermath interviews of NJPW they seem more legit hope you all don't mind the change. Naruto along with his crew came to the back as photographers and other press members were there. The guys cheered for their leader and popped open a bottle of champagne which sprayed, making him laugh, and gave a loud woo -oh. Setting his title on the table, Naruto tossed away a water bottle. I don't want that crap, this is what I need. He cracked open a cold can of beer and drank it down. You see, after many years, finally I am where I should have been from the very start. But you know what, it's a blessing in disguise because I found my true self, it's been in me all along, but I was too careless, too ignorant, too nice. But that's all changed. Now I stand here, your emperor before you patting his title with gold. Suddenly he felt someone sit on his lap. Looking he saw a streak pink and blonde hair short girl who gave a smirk, which actually drew him in including her blue eyes. Hi she said with a smirk. Naruto gave his trademark fox grin. Then flashback. The two have dated for months since then. Just like Naruto before she didn't have a great start in NXT with her having not just a lame fairy gimmick, but also losing many matches. That however changed when she met Naruto who helped her develop into a baddest persona, even alongside the help of Dusty Rhodes. This earned her many victories and actually earned her a spot for the NXT Women's Tournament, where the winner will be the first NXT Women's Champion. She made it to the finals against Paige and defeated her. Funny enough she had used his signature hidden kunai, but she called hers Diamond Cut. After this win she revealed to the world about her relationship with the Emperor Naruto Uzumaki and declared herself the first female wrestler to join the Millennium Empire, she was joined by the group who all held three fingers but turned it sideways symbolizing the Empire. And finally this leads down to the main event. The NXT Champion Naruto Uzumaki vs the World Heavyweight Champion John Cena vs the WWE Champion Randy Orton for the first time ever in a triple threat champion vs champion vs champion match. The crowd cheered for the huge main event. Now that's gonna be one hell of a main event boys. JBL. I hope all of you gentlemen are prepared. Because I promise you both, you'll be in for the fight of your lives. So please, just until Survivor Series. Triple asked. Naruto with the Empire and Shield still had a standoff. Triple H walking to the Shield and sternly talking to them, whatever he said after a minute the Shield stepped out the ring, causing the crowd to boo. Naruto watched as the three men jumped the barricade, but they still didn't take an eye off one another. The faction leader spoke once more. I hope the rest in the back heard this and now know what you're up against because trust me when I say this. The Empire will come at you with full force because make no mistake, my men, my Empire will walk out Survivor Series with our heads held up and leave nothing but a symbol of our conquest. So be sure to remember. Who we are. Naruto raised his title up high and the others doing the crown symbol. Winner version Zenith of God. Can you believe this guys? For the first time ever NXT will take on the WWE at Survivor Series. Cole. Oh boy, I can't wait for Survivor Series already. This year it's gonna be huge. Jerry was excited. Couldn't agree more King, I've been a fan of this group for years, and let me tell you this will be the biggest opportunity of their lives JPL. John Cena theme. The crowd stood up as it had a big reaction. Triple H frowned while Naruto himself was a little surprised, but cracked a little grin. John Cena with a pink shirt and hat came out with a world heavyweight. He was hyped as the crowd gave a loud ovation. He looked and talked to the camera. What a night we're starting already. He stood straight and gave a salute before running down the ramp and sliding in the ring. Naruto and the other members watched on as Cena threw up his signature hand sign getting a pop from the crowd. The world champion continued to admire the crowd, not bothered that he was in the ring across from the faction. The theme faded and the mixed crowd reaction was just heard. Cena grabbing a microphone spoke. Greenville, South Carolina, are we fired up tonight? The crowd cheered. John Cena looked over to Naruto who was telling his crew to go in the back and that he's got this. Trusting their leader they each got out the ring. Leaving Triple H between Cena and Naruto who looked at one another. Nothing was spoken from the two men, but the roar of the crowd was heard. You caught a lot of people's attention, including me. Cena spoke. Everyone in the back has been listening to your talk. Wrestlers, fans, producers, doctors, pyrotechnicians and even the janitors have all heard and seen what you are capable of. 
You came back more hungry and more determined than ever before. The crowd cheered. Naruto leaning back against the rope pointing at Cena as he made points. Then you went on to win the NXT championship alongside your crew who took all the gold, taking over all of NXT. I give credit where credit is due. Cena spoke with honesty. Naruto nod. But now I'm here to say you have an opportunity. An opportunity here in front of all these people of Greenville, South Carolina. The crowd popped. Naruto raised an eyebrow at this. World Champion John Cena vs. The NXT Champion, The Emperor Naruto Uzumaki Champion vs. Champion Tonight. The crowd gave a loud reaction to this enchanted. Yes. 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 Triple H spoke before thing got out of hand. Now wait a minute Cena, I already made it clear this would wait. Triple H I'm up for it, I got my wrestling gear. Naruto agreed. The crowd cheered. Are you sure about this? Triple H asked, still uncertain about this as he looked at the young champion. An emperor doesn't back down from a challenge. Naruto said. Is that what you all want? Triple H asked the crowd who cheered then it is official. The world heavyweight champion John Cena will go one-on-one -on -one with the NXT champion Naruto Uzumaki tonight. The crowd cheered. Good luck gentlemen to the both of you. Triple H. King of King theme. Both men raised their title high while facing off. John Cena with a determined look and Naruto with a confident smirk. We're in for a special treat boys, champion versus champion, now that's what's best for business. JBL. We were not done yet JBL, as you heard the match between Big E and Curtis Axel for the Intercontinental title will determine who will go on and face the debut Empire member Cole. You're right about that, but I can't wait for tonight main event, Cena vs Naruto champion vs champion, this match is gonna be huge Jerry. Later on. Big E hits his finisher the big ending on Curtis Axel and follows it with a pin as the referee counted. 1. 2. 3. The crowd cheered and the bell rang. We have a new Intercontinental champion. JBL. Here is your winner and new Intercontinental Champion, Big E Langston. Lillian announced. Big E was pumped as he was presented the Intercontinental Championship and he raised it up getting cheers and claps from the crowd. Just then a sleeveless muscled black hooded man came sliding into the ring and crouched. Wait, who is that? Cole. Just as Big E turned around the hooded figure ran and delivered a vicious spear that almost broke the new champion in half. But god what a spear. JBL. Who is that? Jerry asked. The person stood up and took his hood off revealing himself, this made the fans pop loud as it was revealed to be Braun Breaker, son of Rick Steiner. That's Braun Breaker. JBL called. You're right JBL, Braun Breaker who a month ago signed with NXT and now he's here. Cole. Braun Breaker picked up the now damaged Big E. He all of a sudden lifted the new Intercontinental Champion high up in the air military press style. Oh my god. Look at his strength. Jerry was shocked. This is the power of the Steiner boys. JBL. Braun let go and caught the champion on his shoulder before slamming him down hard, he shouted loud and barked. Many fans barked around the arena. Braun unzipped his hoodie and took it off in which revealed a sleeveless t-shirt but with the Millennium Empire symbol. Are you kidding? Jerry. Braun formed up the crown signature. Looks like we now know who will be facing Big E at Survivor Series Cole. Braun Breaker theme. Fear no evil, with barks. Braun had got out the ring and proceeded to walk backwards towards the ramp while looking at the damage he created. He was joined by the three Empire members, each crowned up. Ding. 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 The bell rang. Lillian Garcia stood in the middle of the ring and spoke. The following main event is a champion versus champion match scheduled for one fall. John Cena theme. The crowd stood up and made a big mix of reactions as the lights flashed. Cena came out fired up as usual. From West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, he is the world heavyweight champion. Juan Cena. Hammer showed a fan with a you can't see me sign. Time to get this party started. Cena told the camera. He gave a salute and pointed at the camera. Let's go. Rushing down the ramp and throwing his title in the ring, followed by sliding in. As my good friend Jim Ross would always say. The champ is here. Jerry. Cena ran to the ropes and back to the other side before tossing his hat at the crowd and threw up his hand sign. John Cena the world heavyweight champion, after a few weeks ago defeated Albert Del Rio at Hell in a Cell to win his third world title reign. Michael Cole. Cena had one hell of fight, Alberto did everything he could to pick up the win and did significant damage to the injured arm, but Cena goes to show why he's a former multi-WWE champion and wins his third world title. JBL. Cena took off a dog tag kissing it and handed it to the ref. But tonight could be different as he is facing someone he has never wrestled before JBL. Intro cut, Zenith of God. 
The crowd cheered as Naruto came out with the NXT title around his neck. He had on a pink medieval tailcoat with white prints and a cape covered in pink feathers along the shoulders and cuffs. He had pink wristbands, a white elbow pad, pink tights with white print patterns, feathers running down the side and white boots. A E inspired by flamingo jacket from One Piece. His opponent, from Tokyo, Japan weighing in at 261 pounds. He is the NXT champion, Naruto Yuzumaki. Naruto crowned up his sign before confidently strutting down the ramp to the ring. This is gonna be very interesting gentlemen. Like you said JBL, John is facing someone who he has never wrestled against, not to mention with an opponent being the NXT champion, and has wrestled across the world not once but twice. Michael. Naruto climbing up the steps and into the ring. What this young man can do is amazing, you know Jim Ross has told me before, he's a huge fan of this kid. He has even stated he believes that he'll be a future world champion. Jerry. Naruto got up the second rope and crowned up his sign at the crowd they cheered. That's something I'm not gonna doubt, Naruto Uzumaki has been taking the wrestling world by storm along with the Millennium Empire, and now he has his chance to cement his legacy and empire than ever before. JBL. Naruto looked at Sina and took his coat off handing it outside. He took off his title belt in which he raised it high, getting cheers. Handing it to the referee. Both competitors were in their corner. The official in the middle looked at both men who were ready. The official signaled to start the bell. Ding. 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 Both men were just about to move however. Voices theme. The crowd booed. Both men looked up at the stage not expecting this. Soon the WWE champion Randy Orton walked out with his title on his shoulder. The WWE champion Randy Orton JBL. This is a surprise, we didn't expect Randy Orton to be out here after his match from earlier just barely picking up a win against Dolph Ziggler. Cole. Orton proceeded down the ramp while both men kept an eye on him. Of course considering he was known as the Viper. The WWE champion took a steel chair and unfolded it before setting it down next to JBL and took a seat. Well it seems we're being joined by the WWE champion Randy Orton, who's came out here to scout his competition. Michael. Naruto and Cena resumed their match and the two circled around each other. Here we go now. Cena vs Naruto champion vs champion match. Both wrestlers circled around the ring sizing each other up. They stepped towards one another and locked in a grapple. Both men locked in a tie-up Jerry. Quickly though, Naruto arm dragged Cena over him, taking his opponent down, and followed it with a kip up back to his feet. The quick arm drag from the NXT champion taking down the world champion Cole. Cena was a little surprised at the quickness of the young man. He nodded as he stood back up and looked at Naruto who actually smirked and taunted him to bring it on. The NXT champion is telling Cena clearly. Don't worry about Orton he's not the one you got to worry about, you just have to worry about me cause I'm coming at you with a lot. Cena and Naruto again circled around each other and once again locked in grapple, but this time the world champion pushed the NXT champion against the rope and Irish whipped him to the other side. As Naruto hit the ropes he came back at Cena who was about to hit him with a clothesline, but the faction leader ducked under it and hit the other ropes and came back connecting a flying forearm, knocking Cena down and covered quickly. Flying forearm knocking Cena down, Naruto follows with the cover. Cole. Ref pinned one, but Cena kicked out of it. Naruto grabbed his arm, locking it in a tie-up behind his back. Pick out at one Cole. Naruto is starting out with a smart strategy and wearing down Cena's injured arm while not letting him breathe. We've seen what John Cena can do when he gets fired up. JBL. Naruto tightened the hold, Cena though managed to stand up on his feet, he threw a back elbow hitting Naruto in the face hard, forcing him to let go of the world champion who ran to the ropes and back shoulder hitting and knocking him down hard. Cena, now knocking Naruto down. Cole. Cena ran to ropes and came back, but Naruto quickly dropped on his stomach, making him go over and hit the other ropes coming back and was caught for a hip toss, but John countered it with his own, slamming the young man on his back hard. John Cena with a powerful hip toss. Naruto got back up and rushed after Cena, but he dropped toehold taking him down. Cena dropped toehold, now with Naruto in his sight JBL. Cena was about to go for STF, but Naruto quickly turned and pushed him back hard with his legs knocking him down. Naruto getting out that hold quickly, seemed he knew what Cena was trying to do Jerry. Betting back up John charged at Naruto who knocked him down with a drop salt landing on his feet, he followed it with a standing shooting press. Naruto countering with a drop salt followed it with a standing shooting star press, cover. Cole. 1. 2. Cena kicked out. Cena kicking out at 2. Cole. Naruto sighed as he looked at Cena who was trying to shake the cobwebs off. Naruto in control, can he continue on the offense? We'll find out right after this commercial break. Cena had Naruto in a double underhook submission hold. 
The referee asked Naruto if he wanted to give up, but he refused. Welcome back everyone to Monday Night Raw. We're live in Greenville, South Carolina from the Wellness Arena. Main Event Champion vs. Champion Match. World Heavyweight Champion John Cena against NXT Champion Naruto Uzumaki from NXT. What a match so far gentlemen these two have been going back and forth on the offense, let's take you back to what happened during the commercial break where Cena switched the moment into his favor. The replay showed Naruto jumping from the top turnbuckle, but during midair Cena did a drop kick right on the chin, knocking him almost out as he fell to the floor, with his eyes looked almost glazed. That drop kick was right on the button, I think it almost knocked Naruto out. JBL. I still can't believe this match is happening right now, especially with the Survivor Series challenge from NXT just a few weeks away. Jerry. Naruto leaned forward which moved Cena close enough for him to throw up a high kick to his forehead, this was repeated until he was let go as his opponent tried to recover from the kicks. Naruto out of the hold. Cole. Naruto rushed to Cena and quickly dashed around grabbing the world champion from behind, however Cena counter instead when he went behind and lifted him up high, before dropping him on his back and head he follows with a cover. Back body drop with authority now the cover this could do it. Cole. The referee pinned. 1. 2. Naruto kicked out. Cena picked up Naruto and Irish whip into the corner where he charged, but the NXT champion got his foot up hitting John in the face hard making him stumble. Boo, a boot to the face, that's gonna stop Cena in his tracks. Jerry. Naruto charged at his opponent and flipped up locking his legs around Cena's neck and proceeded to hit a devastating sunset flip powerbomb follow with a pin. Wow what a sunset flip powerbomb. Cole. That was a nasty one, right onto the back of Cena's head, that may do it. JBL. The referee pinned. 1. 2. John again kicked out at 2 as he broke from the cover. John Cena kicking out of 2. Cole. Naruto picked Cena up and dragged him to the corner before throwing him into it. He proceeded to spread his arms out against the rope and gave a loud hard chop, damaging the world champion who held his chest. Geez, that sounded like a gun going off. Jerry winced. Naruto repeated this once more. He then did it again and again and again until he did it rapidly, making the crowd cheer. This is why I love this kid. JBL laughed. Rapid fire chops from Naruto to the world heavyweight John Cena. Cole. Naruto was about to go for a final chop, but just as he was about to, he instead gave a hard right punch to the chin of Cena which dropped him into the corner. Naruto walked over to the opposite corner and confidently threw up his signature crown, getting cheers. He ran and was about to go for a dropkick. Suddenly Cena exploded out the corner with a clothesline, almost taking Naruto's head off as he was dropped. Oh man what a clothesline. John Cena exploding out the corner knocking down the Emperor. Cole. This is where Cena becomes dangerous, once things shift back to his favor he'll get on you, believe me I've faced this man on a number of occasions he's tough as they come, there's a reason why he's a multi-world champion and former WWE champion. JBL. John Cena picked up Naruto and Irish whipped him hard to the corner so fast that he collided body first into the turnbuckle, knocking him down while holding his chest. Ooh, that didn't feel good, Jerry said. Naruto thought he had everything planned, but sometimes those plans don't always come to fruition. JBL. Naruto was just trying to get back to his feet as he tried to recover, but he was hit by a hard punch from Cena, knocking him into the corner. Cena with a right hand sending Naruto to the corner. Cole. Cena strike Naruto a few more times and gave a hard ride of his own, which knocked the NXT champion down. Naruto rolled outside and onto the floor trying to recover from the attacks. Cena stepping outside on the apron grabbed his arm and pulled him up where he then set him up on his shoulder. Is Cena going for an AA? Cole. I think he is Jerry. This is bad for Naruto. JBL. Realizing the situation he was in Naruto quickly started to elbow Cena in the face, forcing him to let go. Naruto turning the tables forcing Cena to let go Jerry. Naruto gut kicked Cena causing him to hunch, he ran to the corner and jumped springboarding back from the second rope and caught Cena's head and proceeded heading a cutter onto the apron. Look out. Springboard cutter to Cena from Naruto onto the apron. Cole. Naruto slowly sat up on the apron holding his back on. He looked over to Cena who still laid unresponsive. He pushed him into the ring. Before he got in he looked at Orton who stood up. A stare down between Randy and Naruto. Jerry. Naruto needs to keep at it to John Cena, he needs to stay focused on him JBL. Naruto got back in the ring and saw Cena getting up. He ran to clothesline him, but Cena ducked under it and Naruto hit the other ropes coming back, but Cena threw him up high over him making him land back first. Naruto launched into the air, oh my god, back body drop Cole. Good lord Jerry. We've talked about the unbelievable strength of John Cena, for those at home folks that don't believe it, you just witness a portion of it. JBL. 
Cena took this time to regain himself as he shook his head. Seeing his opponent down he quickly covered. John Cena into the cover. Jerry. The referee pinned. 1. 2. Naruto kicked out but was now caught in a reverse chin lock by the world champion. Let's take a look back at this again boys, it's always amazing seeing the power of John Cena. The replay showed Cena throwing Naruto over him. In slow motion showed how high he was thrown. Before resuming normal showing him land back first. The strength of Cena always surprises me. Jerry. Naruto, still in the hold, managed to get up to a knee, but his opponent still had him. He threw a back elbow to the gut and repeated this until Cena let go. He ran to the ropes and came back, but he baseball slid between the world champion's legs and was now behind him, where he locked a Nelson before lifting him backwards, slamming him back head first. Beautiful Dragon Suplex JBL. Naruto got up running to the ropes and back to Cena who was on his knee and delivered a cyclone kick, Robinson special, to the back of the head. An amazing cyclone kick to the back of Cena's head. Cole. Naruto covered. The official pinned. 1. 2. John Cena kicks out at 2 and a half. 2 and half Cena just in time. Cole. Naruto got up regaining some of his stamina as he leaned back against the rope. This match has been with both men shifting their momentum to one another in their favor. Jerry. Naruto at the moment regains his breath. Cole. Naruto walked over to Cena who suddenly got up and got his opponent on his shoulder, hitting an AA and quickly covered. AA from John Cena out of nowhere. Cole. What? Jerry shocked. That's gotta be it. JBL. The referee pinned as did the crowd. 1. 2. DHR Naruto kicked out making the crowd cheer. Naruto just barely kicking out a two and a half. Cole. How? Jerry questioned. Stubbornness and that's not bad, many wrestlers don't just kick out of an AA boys JBL. Cena was regaining himself and so was Naruto who took damage from the AA and rolled close to the corner. John sat up and looked at Naruto who was vulnerable as he tried to pull himself up in the corner. John is now noticing the condition Naruto is in. JBL. John Cena got up and walked to Naruto and set him up on the top turnbuckle. Cena setting up Naruto on the top turnbuckle, what's he got planned here? Jerry. Cena got up the second turnbuckle and lifted the faction up on his shoulders. Cena taking a risk here, but if he hits this it can finish the match. JBL. Cena is looking to go for another AA this time from the turnbuckle. Cole. Naruto however slipped out of it and landed on his feet. He grabbed Cena head from between his legs and trapped it against the turnbuckle, Naruto launched a super kick to the face, cheeky Nando's kick. Oh man, what a super kick I think Cena may be out. Cole. Naruto had the heavyweight champion in position and got underneath him in a powerbomb, as he lifted him before running and slamming him down hard. Running powerbomb with authority to the heavyweight champion. Cole. Now that can do it JBL. The referee pinned. 1. 2. DHR. John kicks out just in time. The referee told Naruto only too much to his displeasure, but he didn't show it. Naruto picked up Cena and hunched him over and proceeded to give multiple kicks to the head. Now Naruto with a barrage of kicks. Cole. Naruto gave an axe kick to the back of the head of Cena, knocking him down. Axe kick to the back of the head of he heavyweight champion Cole. Naruto walked and jumped on the top turnbuckle, turning around and seeing his opponent in position he stood up. Naruto on the top turnbuckle going for something here. Jerry. Naruto jumped and did a 450, but Cena moved out the way making the young wrestler landing body first. Cena moves out of the way in time. A big risk costs Naruto. JBL. Naruto stood up holding his stomach and Cena jumped on his back hitting a code red following with a cover. The referee pinned. 1. 2. 3. Naruto kicked out just in time. That was close, that was close. JBL said. Unbelievable Jerry. Both competitors on the floor trying to get back their strength and stamina. Both competitors are willing to pull everything out against one another to pick up the win call. Both men try to get up, but Cena was the first one up. Just as Naruto got up he was hit by Cena's shoulder tackle, and this was repeated. This is where Cena gets fired up for his famous comeback. JBL. Naruto went for a swing, but Cena ducked under it and picked him up from behind back first and went for a spinning back suplex, but just as he spun him, the NXT champion caught his head and performed a Hurricane Rana taking down the heavyweight champion. Naruto stopped Cena's momentary comeback as he caught him with a Hurricane Rana. Smart idea, that's what you wanna do. JBL. Cena got back up, but just as he did Naruto spun and hit a discus elbow right to the side of Cena's face, which stunned him and fell to a knee. Duo, discus elbow stunning John Cena. Cole. Naruto grabbed Cena head from behind and lifted him up hitting an inverted sit-out DDT with the cover. Naruto now with the cover. Jerry. The referee pinned. 1. 
Two. Three. Cena kicked out. Naruto got up and looked at his downed opponent and then at the crowd who cheered. He gave a grin and stood back against a corner and took position waiting for Cena to sit up. I think we're about to see it boys, I've seen what this move does to people. JBL. Naruto ran and went to hit his signature, but suddenly he was caught by a drop toehold. Wait a minute now, Cena stopping Naruto. Cole. John Cena grabbed Naruto's leg and got on top locking STF. STF, John Cena caught Naruto. Cole. Naruto was struggling as Cena was pulling his head back. The referee asked Naruto if he wanted to give, but Naruto refused. This is bad for Naruto the more he stays in that hole the longer he'll take damage, he's gotta try to get the ropes or somehow escape. JBL. Can he though? Jerry. Naruto grabbed onto his opponent's hand and managed to grab a finger and pulled it from his face, which forced Cena to let go and was going to reposition, but Naruto again shoved him back with his leg sending him into a corner. Now Naruto somehow escaping from Cena Cole. Cena went over to get Naruto who jumped up hitting an enzajiri to the head, stunning John once more. Naruto jumped on the back of his neck and flipped him back while hitting a reverse hurricane rana. Reverse hurricane rana onto Cena. Cole. Naruto quickly stood back and ran, delivering his hidden kunai to the side of Cena's head. Hidden kunai. Cole. Right on the button Jerry. That's it, that's got to be a JBL. Naruto covered and the official pinned as the crowd counted. One. 2. 3. John Cena kicked out causing the crowd to pop. John Cena kicks out just in time. Cole. That was too close. Jerry. The resilience from John Cena is always unbelievable. JBL. The replay showed in the slow motion the hidden kunai connecting the side of Cena's head. That was just ugly, how does Cena keep going? Jerry. The crowd cheered. This is awesome clap 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 clap. 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 Naruto sat up and slowly got back to his feet, though he showed some fatigue. Going to the corner he pulled his elbow pad down. This is where Naruto gets serious and ready put this match away JPL. Naruto ran to hit another but bare hidden kunai however, though Cena caught him up on his shoulders and hit another AA, and followed with a pin. Another AA from Cena again out of nowhere. Cole. That's it. JPL. That's all she wrote. Jerry. The referee pinned. One. Two. 3. Naruto again kicks out in time, getting the pop and surprise. Naruto somehow, some way Naruto stays in this match. Cole. How? Jerry. Cena was surprised that he kicked out again. Cena stood back up on his feet and saw the NXT champion having a hard time getting up. Cena knows what he has to do to pick up the win. JBL. Cena goes to Naruto and picked him up and puts him on his shoulders. Cena, looking for a third AA Jerry. Just when Cena was about to hit it and threw Naruto up, he slightly turned and landed on his feet before lunging forward and swinging his hidden kunai, which connected knocking Cena down. Hidden kunai, he's got it. JBL. Naruto grabbed Cena and lifted him in the under hook up on his shoulders before twisting and slamming him d-o-w-n stormbreaker. Basengan. Cole. Naruto covered and the referee pinned along with the crowd counting. One. Two. Three. The crowd cheered as the referee called for the bell. He did it. Cheered JPL. Ding. 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 Zenith of God winner version. Naruto sat up and was panting. Here is your winner, the NXT champion, Naruto Yuzumaki Lillian announced. Naruto got up on a knee before standing back up, and the referee raised his arm. Wow, what a match we just witnessed guys. Jerry. Couldn't agree more King, these two gave the crowd the performance call. But in the end Naruto Yuzumaki takes the win, and now this will have the roster on notice. JPL. Naruto with his title around his neck went to the turnbuckle climbing up and threw up the crown sign while looking at the crowd who cheered then at Orton, who stood up with his championship held up high. Naruto giving a fox-like grin as he took off his title and held it high. Survivor Series will determine which brand is superior, we are running out of time folks, we'll see again next week Good night, everybody. Cole. The end. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next video.